what we're going to do today. Oh, this is really music. Yeah, um, <laughs> today we're going to be doing the story of Jonah Part 5. I thought there was no Part 5, guys, you're not going to see this. There, we have to do Part 5 and a Part and a Part 6. All of that, guys. I cannot believe it. Um, now we're going to do the Joker that we did in the last video. What it cures once, twice, in a second. Never. What it cures once, twice, So hopefully he will. I believe in him in this video. So yeah, let's get into it. Now I've been doing wrong in this Jonah stuff. I'm wrong again. There we have to do part five. There's part six and part seven. <laughs> I keep getting it wrong. I am just so excited to do this. <laughs> I'm glad I am enjoying preaching this sermon. And this is one of my favorite um, parts in this series. So now we're going to do Jonah chapter 3. We did Jonah chapter 2 in part 4. I did not mean it in that video. But I'm kind of deep because if you guys have seen the um, four solo part 3 challenges, um, that was a 25 minute video. So... If my preaching was 10 minutes, that would have been a 35 minute video. So that was a long, that would have been a long, long, long time. <laughs> a long video. Alright. We have Jonah chapter 3. If I didn't say it, Jonah chapter 3. I'm sure I did. We're going to read verse 1 through 4. 1 Oh, I believe that I'm going to be able to get out early in this video, so, mm -hmm. All right. Now, this part that we're doing today, it kind of starts over the story. So, you know what happened in Jonah chapter 1, verse 1 through 17? This is mainly what we're going to be reading about today. Just part of it, though. And it's going to be in a whole different version. So this is basically for part 5 and 6, this part and the next part. But we're gonna, what is going to be what happened in verse 1 through 17, but in a different version. And in the version that he should have, um, should have done it. Now... And it says, Jonah 3, 1 through 4, and it says, Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach to it the message that I tell you. <laughs> he says, I'm making sure you obey me this time. Verse 3, so Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh, was an exceedingly great city, a three-day journey in extent, and journey be and Jonah began to enter the city on the first day's walk. Then he cried out and said, Yet forty days in Nineveh Yet forty days in or this is what he says. Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown <gasps> right now. Now My message today for part five, I hope I'm saying this right. I think it's part five. Jonah preaches at Nineveh. This is when Jonah preaches at Nineveh. He's 
he comes and says, "Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown." Now, now I was saying, let's read verse three again. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly great city, a three-day journey in extent. Exceedingly great city. Now, go to verse 2 in Jonah chapter 1. Well, you don't have to. I'll just read it to you. Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and crown against it for the wickedness. There is wickedness. In a great city? Nineveh is a great city. And now there's wickedness in a great city? We're gonna get talk about that at the end. Now let's read verse one. Chapter 3. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, get another thing, rest here, and preach to it the message that I tell you. Now, now, when he says it this time, he says, Preach. And verse, and chapter 1 and chapter 3, he says, Preach it to him. He just says, Go rise, go to, and cry out against it. He just says, go to Nineveh and cry out against it. Okay? Go to Nineveh and cry out against it. But in chapter 3, verse 2, go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach to it the message that I tell you. Last time, God did not give him a message to say. Well, maybe he did, but it did not say it in the it did not say it in the Bible. Or right, I'm gonna talk about two more things, then I'm done. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna how I'm going. All right. Verse 4. <laughs> Jonah chapter 3, verse 4. And Jonah began to enter the city on the first day's walk. Then he cried out and said, Yet 40 days, and none of it shall be. None of it. Shall be overthrown. I'm sure he's talking about go overthrown into the sea. Now, I'm going to read to you John chapter 1, verse 17. Now, the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly for three days and three nights. Now, he wants them to be in it for, for 40 days, okay? He wants him to feel the pain that he had. Thou tell them, do not. Disobey the Lord. Do not be wicked in this city. Plus, that this city is wicked. How do you? Now, I'll get to that next. How do you get wicked in a great city? If you get wicked in a great city, then you're ruining the city. I came here to tell you today that you cannot come into a great city and, and disrupt the great city. You cannot just try to destroy it. You're like, oh, this is a great city. I'm going to do this wicked. I'm going to do this wicked. I'm going to do this wicked. No! 
no, you are in right now a great city, and it is called Nineveh. You are in Nineveh, and you are not allowed to do wickedness at all. You are doing wickedness in a great city. You should not be doing wickedness in a great city. I came here to tell you today that you cannot. Be wicked in a great, in a great city. And finally, first of all, I never got to this. I wanted to get to that part. And Nineveh shall be overthrown. And otherwise, I want you to fill the pen I was in that fish. For three days and three nights. Yet, you are going to have it for 40 whole days. Now, that was the message that God sent to Jonah to send to Nineveh. I want you to feel it, what I have done wrong. And now you're going to pay the price. You did something wrong. You should not just get away with that when you're wicked in a city. In a great city. You cannot be wicked in a great city. I got out early. Thank you very much. I'll see you again for part six and hopefully the final part if I don't miss. Yet yeah, again, that was a great, great sermon. Now let's pray. Now I went to him who was able to keep us from falling, present you fellows before the throne of his name. To the only almighty God, we glory and majesty, dominion and power. I call you now and forever blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed when you come and blessed when you go. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, Elijah told me that he has the joker to reveal the answer so i'm gonna send the joker in all right so eq austin the question was what occurs once in a moment twice in a second but never in a thousand years you guys want to know the answer the letter m this is a hard one to understand you may need to think about it for a while now yeah now is eq austin to do the outro Guys, I cannot believe it. I finished this video in less than 15 minutes. I did the preaching. I um, talked a bit longer than usual. And I still got it all got done. I got to do the Joker. And I'm doing the outro. And we're not even at 15 minutes yet. We're not even 14 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, and comment. And I'll see you guys again. Bye. Oh yeah, and guys, make and when we did the Forest Lava Challenge Part Three, we we were on day ten next, so that counted as not a that was counted as day ten to fill in for our workout for the day day ten, and hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to do day eleven. Now, see you guys.